Andy Solis made a comment on video 163 about the flare chutes. The flare chute is situated just inside the doorway as these pictures show. He wants to know, will the hole be cut in the fuselage floor for the flare chute and a flare chute fitted or not? So I'll put this to Dave. You know the flare chute, yeah. will you be putting that back in? Yeah, we'll, yeah, I'll we'll take it off James and then swap it, swap it over, yeah. yeah. That, that'll be, that'll um, be done in city when it's on the aircraft. Alright, so will you cut a hole in the fuselage at the bottom? Yeah, we'll put the skin on for now, and then yeah. I'll bore it done. Um, you see there, the intercostals chop them out and the string is chopped out, so it goes Definitely. there, does it? Yeah. Yeah, it goes there. So once the skin's up, I've got the holes in, and it's like a mountain plate for it. Got to go in. There. Wasn't there a flare chute with this? No, I think it got obliterated. <laughs> yeah, there was a flare chute, but it was only that big. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't survive. It got crushed, did it? Keith's doing a repair job on the wing panels. That chip put through it. Yeah, it's where they couldn't get the panels undone, so they just I don't know, it's an axe or whatever, and they just crash. Chopped it, it away. Yeah. Side of the skin. That's what the holes are. And you can see. What there? Yeah, there's one down there as well. And then there's one up there. On that. Yeah, this one here. Up, yeah, it's all cut up to. Around here somewhere. And last week I was having trouble because you thought it being compressed and pushed over you had to oh what the, the skin yeah yeah it's because everything was that way so i undid it all i didn't put that panel on put some screws in it and then did everything else up again it's all it's coming okay in line. then it? yeah it's all come in the line then oh, it's good. just that it was too much to try and move in one go with all the with all the stuff yeah skin pins and yeah yeah so it was just, holding it too tight, was it? Yeah, just relaxed it all and then put the screws in first and then pinned it up and pulled it over and it, it all lined up. Oh, that's great. I started doing the repairs on that one there, on the, you can see with the tape around it? Yeah. Started marking out a bit of that, because that's, that's the panel, that's the infill to go, the insert to go in it. Yeah. Was well, that damage off. then? Sorry? Was that damaged? Yeah, they were uh, smashed to pieces. Big old smash on one. That's over there. That's that one. And you see where it's... Just smashed a hole in it. Yeah, it? smashed a hole in it. And the same with this one. That's... That one from down there. That had a hole smashed in it yeah. as well. That's... The, this is the replacement for it, is it? That's the, that's the uh, insert for it, yeah. Insert for it, yeah. yeah. I started making that, that panel. Yeah. That was, that was the one that was totally, near enough, totally destroyed. Yeah. But I can't go any further at the moment because I haven't got the stringers in. I need yeah. to put the stringers in to position the ribs behind. Yeah. Because the, I can't copy drill the rib holes off the panel because it was smashed to pieces. Yeah. So the where screws. the plug rivets and the screws go, you took that off an old skin, did you? Yeah, I took them off the old skin. That was still there because, you know, they, they couldn't damage that because yeah. it's like bulletproof, isn't it? Yeah. So solid. Yeah. But I just... Oh. So what you got? Two formers or three formers to make? There's three, three ribs to make. Three ribs, sorry. Yeah, that right. bit is non-existent. That don't exist. No. You didn't get that bit. No. <laughs> Well, that's it, is it? That bit. And that bit goes on there like that. And that's all I've got of that one. You can't use that as it's past being used as a pattern, is it? Well, it will 
semi pattern for the curve at the top and how tall it is. Yeah. And this one was totally. I don't know if you remember this one. This one was totally. Yeah, you straightened it out, pieces. didn't you? Yeah. yeah, and I straightened it all. So that you can get a copy from that. And yeah, roughly. Yeah. You can get a rough copy for yeah. it. Keith went over the new engine of the French wing that John and Les have put together. So these two brackets, the U tube is put at the top and the bottom. They're horizontal, are they? To the towards it should be, or what's that? Those well, these, these two, two here. aluminium. These are, these yeah. are into two of the bolt holes that go through. Yeah. So they're set up in the middle of that, and then this beam was fitted to that. So. I don't, I don't, I don't know about John. I, I think I should imagine they are horizontal. Yeah. But John had to pitch it because he had to sit the jig. So because if you just set it in the middle here and even it out, yeah. And it still gives us all the access to. Rip yeah, it, up, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, he's done a nice job. Yeah. Drive a tank into that now. As he raw bolted it to the floor. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Raw bolted it, yeah. yeah. That's what I said. That ain't going nowhere. We saved the boss money by uh, recycling the uh, oh, yes. rest of the jig. Yeah. yeah. Well, what were these brackets for here? They're for the uh, side down points. There's two uh, links. There's a link that goes in there, and there's a door that goes and it shuts. Yeah. So if it's windy, and it's outside, you undo those doors, flap down the, it's like a big D-ring type yeah. thing, comes down and you put a tie down to it so the wind don't get and blow lifted, it. Yeah, lifted it up. Right. the aircraft. Yeah. Seen yeah. them on small aircraft. Didn't yeah, they're, 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 there's two on, two on each wing. There's one here and there's one on the inboard end. Oh, there's one on the inboard end as oh, well. The, yeah. Oh. Yeah, so there's yeah, two but, to each wing. Yeah, they are a big surface for the wind to get hold of. Yeah, get hold of that. Yeah. Wouldn't take much if you got in a, you know, like a real big storm. Yeah. Flipping aircraft over. Right, good key, thank you. That's all right. Doncaster Fuse Lodge KB976. Dave and Norman are about to start riveting the skins to the fuselage frame. They are starting with one of the original skins which was held in place by a row of rivets. The rest of the skin was rolled back. Norman on the gun. And Dave on the block. Well, was that one rivet or three? Eh? Was that one rivet or three? Just while we're warming up, we'll get... Oh, just the one rivet, right. I made a mistake then, I rested my camera on the frame and when you riveted <laughs> it shook it to bits. <laughs> Just above where we finished. Yeah, it's the ending, wasn't it? Yeah. 
they look like they're quite small. They might be put, I've, I've put a short one in, but I've got a feeling they're even shorter. They look too long. I'm just that line up. <laughs> The old one's a bit big. Huh? The old one's a bit big, guys. Just try this middle one. It doesn't look like there's much metal there, so. Yeah, it's not too long. No, that's good, but. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Will you pin, skin pin all the skins on before you put any rivets in? Or will you start riveting as you get the skins made for um, the wing? I should, I should imagine I'll do a section of several skins yeah. that will be cracked up and yeah. put on, pinned up yeah. and then we'll rivet that section and then we'll put a few more skins on. Yeah. You'll be able to put the skins on before you put the leading edge on top. Yeah, that's the way. That's the way it's done. Yeah, I see. Yeah. It's put on as a unit. The only thing you leave up, what get, what you see there, is what will be riveted up. Yeah. Solid riveted up. That will be one complete unit. The bottom skins, and the stringers stay out. It's really been. It's been I've enjoyed watching it as it developed. I think yeah. it's been great for me. This has well, better than a lot building it. And punters flying have it. said walking around. Yeah, because there's surprising amount of people who are actually watching it on your yeah. videos on yeah. YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good engineering job. Well, I should imagine there's a lot of people learning a lot of things yeah. all over the world watching it. Yeah. Because uh, one's never been done. No, no. I should imagine the Canadians will uh, look at it because they've never had their wings apart. No, no. BBMF never had their wings apart. They've had the spars changed, but they cut the rear spar and BAE just put the uh, spar boom in and then just yeah. did a repair on the back. Yeah. But no one's had their wings apart. No. Yeah, it'll be a good learning curve for everybody.